What's cool with it, y'all? It's coffee. Back at it, man. Raekwon takes to the gram, man. In 20 years, like I knew it had been a minute, but it's just crazy the way time flies, man. R.I.P. O.D.B. You see what Raekwon said, man. Miss you, beloved. Today marks 20 years you've been gone, and it's not a day that goes by we don't miss feeling your presence in the world. So today at my grand opening in New York's very own Hastoria location, we will be doing a tribute to your legacy by playing your music throughout the day. Thank you for believing in us and putting your mighty crew on the map. You will always remain general in my eyes. Love you. Gone but still here. ODB, hip hop's greatest entertainer, man. Man, like 20 years is wild. I remember it, too. I remember, if I'm not mistaken, I think ODB collapsed in a recording studio. He did that bid. He came home. We seen him like he had put some weight on. You know, obviously, ODB uh, struggled with substance abuse and whatnot. And when he was locked up, he, he put a little bit of weight on. And then I remember... He, uh, he did that Rockefeller deal. And I was like, man, uh, I don't know if he ever actually dropped a project through them. But I was like, I, I, I remember hearing some joints that, that were kind of hard. You guys remember that one that was like, Wu-Tang, 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 Rockefeller, Rockefeller, Rockefeller. Y'all remember that? Um, but it was sad, man. Dirt McGurk, Big Baby Jesus, Osiris, Asan Unique, right? Like, he was just different, man. ODB, like, marched to the beat of his own drum. He did his own thing. He was original, man. You know what I mean? And that it's so crazy, too, with, like, the singing, melodic, hip-hop type vibes. Like, ODB was doing it, but in a different way back then. But he, he was just an original dude, and there's really... No one quite like ODB, man. Uh, comment if y'all watched the Hulu sh uh, show, An American Saga. Like, ODB, man. Like, it's just, uh, man, he was just different. Sorry, y'all. It's just crazy thinking back, man, as we get older, the, the, the years that fly by. But Hastoria, I believe, is uh, is a profile. What is this? Uh, Raekwon's retail company founder, Raekwon the Chef. Oh, they got clothing and everything. That's what's up, man. Everyone's getting that cannabis uh, bread and all that. But uh, let's see what people are talking about. But for real, hit the comments with your favorite tracks. That joint that came out, you know, the one that had, hey, dirty. Baby, I got your money. That has some bangers on there, man. But um, let's see. The man had personality and charisma that was off the charts. His vocal style was by far the roughest of the woo. And it matched his persona to a T. Is Biggie Pac and ODB tied for most iconic hip-hop artists? Interesting. Comment if you agree with that, man. Was, was ODB iconic in such a way, just off the vibes, the personality, like like I was saying, like he's just one of a kind, man. There'll never be no one else quite like ODB. What do you think about that comment? And yo, do you guys remember on the um the Wu Tang American Saga season three, where they started having those episodes that were kind of like more like an artistic expression with uh, the 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 Soul Train robot and all that and. Like where they were trying to get ODB to sell out and everything that that that, that ish was wild, man. Uh, he blessed us all with his unparalleled, unprecedentedness. He was truly a beautiful soul, a true entertaining genius. Genius, no father to his style. We love and miss you, ODB. One of the pioneers for show. Wu Tang is for the babies. Wu Tang is for the babies. Yo. Didn't he, um, who won that award, remember, when he ran up there? Yo, Kanye West totally bit that. He got that from ODB, right? Remember when he came up there, uh, when Taylor Swift, I think Kanye did it a couple of times, like, 
you know, they say like photo bombing, like award ceremony bombing. And I, and I think at that time when ODB did that, I forget who won an award when he ran up there doing that. I think he was on the run at that time, man. Uh, R.I.P. Thank you for your contribution in hip hop. Old Dirty, you in our hearts forever. As a fan, that's dope. As a man, it gives me peace to see friendship and brotherhood never fade. I still remember like yesterday when I was browsing Wikipedia and the news flash on the Wikipedia declared that ODB had died. It was exactly like that. ODB of wu Tang has died. It was shocking. Very shocking. I couldn't believe it. Was Wikipedia like popping like that back in 04? I got I got to the, the internet a little late, y'all. The one man army a son. We miss you, Dirt McGurt. Rest up, cousin. Uh, mad respect to ODB. Miss you. Continue to rest in power, Mr. Jones. Salute, rest in power, King. We miss that energy, man. That energy was something else, man. Um, R.I.P. Dirty. Continue to rest peacefully. Love you, Dirty. Tomorrow we celebrate you again. I still bang that Dirty-ish. What was his? 36 Chambers, the Dirty version. That was wild, too. We saw um, on the show the dispute over, like, his uh, solo deal. Where, where, where did he sign with? Electra? I can't recall. But I remember him and RZA, like, had some kind of issue over something. That was what was so wild with Wu Tang and watching the show, right? Seeing the group in a way the group pop, right? And got their momentum. But then, you know, seeing other artists signing all their solo deals, it, it, it was interesting, you know? Um, love you. They're, okay, we already. I still bang that. All praises due to the seven. Truly one of a kind. Rest in peace, King. Um, but still here. So that'd do it, man. R.I.P. O.D.B. Tap in, subscribe. Wu Tang forever.